Did you just get your Arduino Q and you're excited to get started, but you're having a hard time getting it connected to App Lab? Or maybe you're trying to run some examples and you're getting errors. You might be scratching your head trying to figure out like, hey, what, what's going on here? Well, in this video, I'm going to cover the two most common issues that you might run into when you're setting up your Arduino Q. And after that should be, you know, relatively smooth sailing, at least, you know, getting to play with uh, the new Arduino Q. My name is Mike Chach. I'm the owner of Programming Electronics Academy, where we've been helping people for over a decade learn to build interesting things with Arduino. OK, let's jump into this. OK, so let's say you've got your computer set up. You plug your Arduino Q via USB cable you know, to your computer, and you open up Arduino App Lab, and here you are sitting at this screen, and it says, hey, connect to your Arduino Q to start, but it says it's waiting for the board to be connected, and it just doesn't seem like it's identifying the board. Like, what gives? So here's what we're going to do. We'll troubleshoot this step by step. We're going to start with the easiest thing first. OK, so what we want to do is just disconnect and reconnect your board. So we're going to disconnect the board. OK, and reconnect it in order to reset the power. And then I just want you to verify that there is at least one LED on the board that lights up. I just want to make sure this thing's actually getting power. OK, so check that there's at least one LED somewhere that's turned on. Now wait for the Arduino Q to fully boot up. So at first, that LED matrix, it displays that swirling animation of the shape with the Arduino logo, right? The infinity symbol. But once the board's finished booting, then the LED matrix instead displays a heartbeat animation kind of coming on and coming off. So you're waiting for that heartbeat animation. Now, if you don't get that animation, we're going to talk about that in a moment. But let's assume that you get that animation. The next thing you want to check for is that did your computer give you any system notifications that prompt you to like grant USB device permissions or something like that? So you just want to like check around. If you've got multiple screens, sometimes, you know, something pops up and I, I don't see it. So look around for that. So that's the first thing. Just, you know, hey, disconnect, reconnect. That's, we'll call this the good old unplug it, replug it trick. All right, so that was that. So the next thing I want you to do is check your board connections. So believe it or not, a lot of times an issue that you have between your computer and your Arduino, like any Arduino board, not just Arduino Q, is that you've got a crappy USB cable. You might think that this is not like a common thing, but believe it or not, it is. So, so step one, you want to make sure that you're actually using a USB cable that's built for data. So it's called a data USB cable. Cable. Most of them are, but sometimes they have these charging only USB cables. And if that's what you have, then there's going to be no data line to in order to transmit information. So the next thing you want to do with your USB cable is just test it. Try it with a different Arduino board. Are you able to upload code on some other Arduino board, not even using Arduino App Lab? We're just trying to establish is your USB cable OK? Now, another thing you might try is let's say you've got a USB hub, which I do because I've got a ton of devices connected to my computer through this USB hub. Well, instead of connecting the Arduino Q through the hub, connect it directly to one of the USB ports on your computer. Now, if that doesn't work, try a different USB port on your computer. I know this seems like, oh, Mike, give me a break. But I'm telling you, sometimes that does the trick. Just try a different port on the back of your computer and see if that will allow the Arduino App Lab to recognize your board. One thing I didn't mention is that sometimes it takes a couple seconds for the Arduino App Lab to recognize your board, to connect to the board. It doesn't happen instantaneously. I've had it take up to like 40 seconds, maybe 45 seconds before. Now, if it goes much longer than that, well, I think that's you know a concern. So every time you're testing your cable, make sure you're allowing enough time to actually go and see if the Arduino App Lab can identify the board. Finally, maybe, I don't know, you got jumper wire you're crazy and you have already connected a bunch of jumpers and stuff to your board. Well, make sure to take those jumper wires off or the shield off. Maybe there's some type of interference that's taking place. Hopefully that solved your issue. But if it didn't, the next very likely thing that needs to happen is you need to update the software on your Arduino Q. Now, if you're excited about working with your Arduino Q, I'm actually putting together a training program specifically for learning how to use this board. You can get on the wait list for that training at the link below, or you can go to this QR code up here and again, get on the wait list. All right, so the second issue you might be running into is like, hey, the App Lab recognizes your board, but then when you're trying to run some examples, you're getting errors. You're scratching your head like, man, these are built-in tutorials. This should be working. And what's going on? Or maybe as you're going through the setup in App Lab, you get a little window that pops up that says, hey, your software is out of date. Well, what are they talking about? Well, as you may or may not know, 
your Arduino Q is running a Debian Linux operating system. So there's a whole operating system running on your Arduino Q and it gets shipped with that operating system on the board. But by the time you get the board, it might be that Arduino made some updates to that software. And so what you need to do is flash a new image onto your Arduino Q. Now Arduino has provided a tool. It's called the Arduino Flasher CLI. CLI stands for Command Line Interface. And it's a pretty straightforward tool in order to get the image uploaded to your board. Once you flash that new image, you should be smooth rolling. Well, you know how it goes. But hey, I made a detailed video about using this Arduino CLI flasher tool. You can watch it right here. This is the video you should watch if you're having some issues in the app lab with some of the built-in sketches not working, or again, if you get that pop-up window. This video right up here is gonna walk you through flashing your Debian Linux image.